Among the stories of loss in the aftermath of Hurricane Sally comes stories of survival and heroic rescues. Drexel Gilbert now with the story of a man who clung to life in the waters of the intercoastal for five hours before being rescued by strangers who he now calls friends. When Chris Harper decided to ride out Hurricane Sally on a boat in the Oyster Bar Marina, he had no idea what was coming. Roughly at about 2 o'clock in the morning, I abandoned ship, go in the water. I survive uh, somehow in the marina for maybe two or three hours, just bobbing up and down, hanging on to whatever I could. I, I held on to a, uh, a dock pole or a pier pole, existing pylon pole that we tie our lines up to, and held on with my arms in my chest for quite a while, maybe an hour and a half. I thought about God first and saving me, and I knew he would watch over me. After roughly three hours of this, it's high tide was coming in at that time, which was taking me back underneath the water. Probably went down three or four times that I did not think I was coming back up. Chris made a do or die decision. And somewhere probably maybe around 3, 3.30 in the morning, there's a big enough piece of dock that I can float and float out of this marina. And I said, I'm out of here. I'm going to lay down on this thing and I'm going to float down the intercoastal waterway till hopefully somebody sees me. And I'm then like, I'm I swear I hear someone yelling. At a nearby RV park, Jennifer McKee heard Chris's cries for help. So he came down to the water and then right over there on that pillar is where we learned that it was Chris. He is Josh McKee, Jennifer's husband. They and others loaded a kayak and ropes to Chris, who by this time only had use of his left arm because his right shoulder was dislocated. Kayak flipped over, um, so that wasn't going to work. And we just said, I said, I can swim out. So we got, I swam oh, almost to the pillar, um, enough to where when he jumped in, we were able to get a hold of him and then started screaming to everyone to pull. Um, it was my wife and daughter on here and Ash, we all were swimming in Poland. Got him out, immediately started treating for shock. Chris told me that he really wanted to find the McKees and tell them thank you for saving his life, but he hadn't been able to locate them. Well, I went out looking for them, and as you saw, I found them and I interviewed them. And then I asked them, would you like for me to take you to Chris? And they said yes. How's your shoulder? <laughs> take it easy now. <laughs> Hurricane Heroes, A Will to Live, and Faith turned this hurricane nightmare into a story of survival, heroics, and new friendship. He saved my life. He saved my life. His family saved my life. Get in here. Reporting from Perdido Key, I'm Drexel Gilbert, WKRG News 5. The man who swam out to save Harper is a decorated Green Beret. Harper says despite his ordeal, his outlook is positive and plans on spending the night with a friend tonight on a boat.